They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're a you're more than one Everyone at school is buzzing about the Royal Student Council elections, but there's only one choice for president. She's running unopposed again. Apple White. Blondie, just because I don't have an opponent doesn't mean I'm not going to work my crown off. I'll use my debate time to outline my plan for royal dances, royal fundraisers, royal canned food drives, royal blah and royal blah and royal na na na. Wouldn't it be great if someone else... I'll do it. I will run against Apple for president. Uh, what now? Vote for Maddie! Vote for me! <laughs> Hats over crowns, vote for Maddie. Oh, uh, hey, Raven. Uh... Dexter, vote for me! Ow! I mean, oh boy, thanks so much for that pin. Uh. So here we go, fellow fairy tales, the Ever After High Royal Student Council debate. First question goes to Apple White. Why would anyone not vote for you? Let me just say, I will preside over this school like I will my future kingdom. Perfectly. <laughs> and Maddie, my question for you is, why would you run against Apple? Are you... Mad? Why, yes, and thank you for noticing. If the squirrel eats acorns but never a steak, how much water fills up the lake? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard us. Apple's been president long enough. Maddie's mad. I have a terrific idea. It'd just be oh so swell the council could have the castle doors widen for the not so tiny of us. I think we can make that happen, but I need to check with my co-president. For the cave of the bear is open so wide. Would you really change the pull of the tide? <laughs> what she said. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're a royal, you rebel, you more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. Behold C.A. Cupid, adopted daughter of Eros, the god of love. She currently attends Monster High, but is about to discover that another school is in need of her very special talents. Fairy tale mm. destinies are now anything but certain. Will princesses end up with their princes? Will the rebel students now find true love? These relationships will need Cupid's help to end happily ever after. Hello, fair lady of love. I am Hopper Crokington II, and I am in desperate need of your counsel. I know just what every frog needs to become a prince. My lady, wait! <laughs> hey there, you're Cupid. I think they should call you Cutepid. Ugh, when I get tongue-tied, I turn back... Blast! If only I possessed my poetic skills while in human form, but so flustered I become near the beauty that is Briar. You know what? I got this. Tell me how you feel about Briar. Well, there is none that can... Hopper, wait, you're the secret admirer who wanted to meet here? I mean, look, first you send me a basket of chocolate-covered <laughs> flies, then a smelly bouquet of swamp grass. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to go to the dance with you. My sweet Briar, the beauty of this night is not compared to the beauty you possess. Hopper, I've never seen this side of you. Hey, Cupid. Oh, Dexter. Oh, anything else you want to say? Oh, 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 oh. Oops. You're just so... <laughs> I mean, I mean... Blast. Ew. Oh, ribbit. <laughs> They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're a royal, you rebel, you more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. <laughs> 
Raven. Apple. Raven. Apple. Apple and Raven had a problem. As co-editors, the girls would have to agree on a shared vision for the yearbook. And lately, they couldn't even agree to disagree. Apple. Raven. Why can't you two figure out how to be friends? There has to be a way. There is a way. In Wonderland, we would have a duel. A croquet duel. Ooh. Whoever wins the game becomes the senior editor. The other must relinquish power. I'll do it, if you will. You're on. Ballots at dawn! Apple, Raven, you know the rules. I make them up as you go along. Maddie, you are Raven's Wicked Keeper. Bunny, you are with Apple. The ball must pass through the wicket to score. Now turn, walk ten paces, and swing your mallet. Blade. Picture perfect. Too bad you wouldn't want a shot of that in the yearbook. Apple, why? <gasps> well, if you ask me, this is more memorable. Detention! It's all about showing us at our best. Like this shot of our faithful wicket keepers. More like wicket sleepers. <laughs> well, the winner will decide. Fine. Let's finish this. A tie! Presenting the yearbook co-editors, Apple and Raven. <laughs> That's it. I'm off to bed. See ya. I knew you could work things out. With you guys in charge, it's going to be the best yearbook ever. I'll do it. If you will. You're on. Perhaps the girls still don't see eye to eye. But at least they're on the same page. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you'll fly, oh, you rebel, you more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. We definitely should have found the forest fest by now. Let's all just take our mind off of our situation and think about other things. Ooh, boys! That's exactly what I was trying not to think about. I forgot Dexter was taking Raven to the movies tonight. Who knows? Maybe it won't go very well. I think I'll wear this bracelet. Or, um, maybe this ring. Oh, this necklace would look nice. It's a night at the movies, Raven, not a final exam. I know, I know. <sighs> I'm way more nervous than I expected. I mean, this is my first actual date with Dexter. <gasps> He's here! I'm sorry, I didn't realize that wood was your head. I, I mean, the door was your head. I mean, have some flowers. Thank you. They're, um... <laughs> Beautiful! I forgot! Dark Queen, flowers, ah! That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just put them in some water. I'm so clumsy. I am so sorry, Dexter. No, no, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's totally my fault. Really, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry that you're sorry. <sighs> this place is... Really fancy, and um. Maybe we should just go sit down. Watch your feet. Ow! How did I even do that? Should I get some snacks? I should get some snacks. <laughs> no, 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 I should stay. No, I should probably get some snacks. Snacks? <laughs> I want snacks. Um... Now I need to go to the bathroom. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. 
Raven? Dexter, I've got a confession to make. I am, like, really super nervous. You're nervous? But I'm nervous. We've got something in common. <laughs> so really, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's just be ourselves and enjoy the evening. <laughs> Raven. It's starting. I can't wait to see what comes next. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own.